for you to understand the the aftermath of uh, narcissistic abuse you talk to the survivors and the thrivers it's been so many years of uh, post narcissistic abuse and there is still some things I cannot there is still some things I struggle to to put together okay I've got all the answers most of the answers I need I want it I've got all of them because I know what it was I know who they are what do they do what makes them do the things they do I know a lot of the details but still in my mind I'm like it's very hard to believe that there is people who do exactly what narcissists do now so many of you guys have left the narcissist and you're thinking in your mind are these guys happy you know are they happy you did get you didn't get an apology you didn't get an explanation you never got closure and you're trying to understand they have dumped you off they have run off to someone else now you see them of course they are doing all these things you know they promised you we shall go somewhere they never did that so he was waiting for years they promised you something else a car whatever they promised you everything they have not done even one now all of a sudden they are with somebody new and then you see them doing all these beautiful things the same thing they promised you maybe they promised you a certain type of car you never got that car they couldn't afford or they stubbornly refused to give you the car now they have got a new supply they have bought that car for the new supply the narcissist when they meet the new supply is just a continuation of where they stopped with you it's a continuation this time it, it, it may look better in the beginning but they're just continuing a cycle okay that is one of the most disturbing things you'll ever find with toxic people so they're repeating a cycle this time with somebody new not only that they are now doing the beautiful things that they've always promised you from the beginning but i want to tell you something very important for the for, for the most of guys empaths i educate you guys because i don't want you to cry forever you're not going to close yourself in the rooms and crying and you're not going to call. okay heal it's okay to mourn and then you heal i know it takes time i get it but i help you to get some answers so that you can somehow find the closure that you need after leaving toxic individuals when the narcissist is the new supply they are struggling it's still the same thing because you see in the back of their mind they know that they are dysfunctional okay they know they have already been doing this thing over the years and they know that they are dysfunctional so that they actually know they are the problem a narcissist once uh, confessed to me that i was not the problem they were the problem are you guys listening the narcissist confirmed to me that i was not the problem they were the problem then i asked what the problem was they didn't answer the they, they didn't answer me so they didn't they this they still didn't tell me what the problem was okay i can promise you survivors of abuse the grass isn't greener on the other side the grass isn't greener there's going to be a beautiful a lot of beautiful things happening in the beginning you know you will see them for the most of most of you guys who are still going around and checking their social medias or whatever you will see them they will post beautiful pictures they're on the beach whatever they're on the trips whatever they have a new car whatever 
forget about it. One of my, my one of my biggest strengths during healing was for me to understand that everything that was going on was a show. You know, it was a show. And then the empath you're struggling to find out who is your competitor, you know? Who is your competition? The competition that you're thinking about, that new supply, is simply another victim that is unaware. You are the lucky one who is aware. You know. You see it, you know it, you understand it, you understand it. But the person that you worried about is simply another victim. So they do not know what is going on. They are unaware, they are still asleep. You are the one who is awake. Actually, you should even congratulate yourselves that you woke up. The person that you worried about, let it go. Those people, they will figure out. And I'm talking about the people, I'm not talking about these people who have been two months, you know. But those kind of guys they have made, oh, I made the nurses on two months, you know, three months or whatever, two weeks. No, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the person who has been with that person for a very long period of time. 10, 20 years, or whatever, and so on. But those are the people the narcissist will forever miss. The narcissist know that they messed up. They know that they messed up. There is things that they cannot take back. They cannot go back in time. They are so dysfunctional, very toxic. They are not able to reason and think like you do. So there comes a time when they know that they messed up, you know. There will be moments when they are going to figure out, they are going to regret losing you as their supply. Not as their husband, you know. A lot of you guys don't understand that these people, they are only with you because of supply, you know. You have a place to stay. You give them money. I don't know, good sex. Um, lots of validation, whatever. You are simply supply. So, you ran out of supply. You ran out of fuel. And they had to go around and scramble for the new fuel. So they had to find somebody new who was actually unaware. They are not aware who, is, who a narcissist is. And they are going to go through the same cycle of events that you did. They are going to be abused the same way that you did. I've told you guys when you have left the narcissist, you have won a long time ago. You have won. People, you are going to look back in years and you will congratulate yourself. You will congratulate yourself that there was one day you was discarded or you discarded that person. There's going to be a lot of pain and whatever, healing and this and that. And one day you're going to sit down in your home and you're going to reflect that. One day you took a decision to leave that person. So whoever they are with, those new guys, whatever, the new suppliers and the new boyfriend, new girlfriend, don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Celebrate. It is time for you to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for you to celebrate. You are free. I'm hoping that you have not gotten into another entanglement, whatever these, uh, what, the, what do they call them? The, the rebounds. You're not into the rebounds because the rebound is going to simply land you another narcissist. So the cycle will not stop unless you heal. Okay? That's one of the things I've emphasized on these videos. The cycle will not stop until you have healed, until you have worked on those wounds, those things that broke you. You have healed them. Your traumas, you have healed them because it is the trauma that you have that attracted that narcissist in your life. So the new guys will be also uh, struggling 
they are going of course they will love bomb the same way that you did they are trauma bonded the same way that you that, that you was they are having the abuse this time it's a different person and you are got you, you are the one that got away but when you're talking about a person who has gone away who has gone out there to heal and you start investing too much work on yourself doing a lot doing a lot of work within yourself you will glow your health will improve your finances will improve you're going to become more emotionally intelligent if you look very closely to those guys who have left those guys behind those so-called toxic, toxic people those are the guys one of the some of the guys that are highly emotionally intelligent you know you're growing emotionally spiritually physically and those guys that you left behind they're looking back because of course they are running around with the social media they're, they're on your pages stalking you they have got different names that they're using to stalk you what are you doing who are you with they also want to see their competition because they think that this thing is like a game they find a new one then you find a new one that's how they think it they, they think they, they think this thing goes anytime they see you shine i've told you you have left a narcissist go and heal you're going to shine the moment those people figure out that you're shining that's when the hoovers are going to come in and they do not really care if there's somebody new already they are dating someone else they are, the hoovers are going to come in the hoovers are going to come in because they are realizing that they have made a very big mistake they need that supply back but at this point in time you are too healed to take back that crop You are too healed to take back the old garbage. You want somebody new. You want somebody better. You, you deserve better. Empaths. You need to stop underestimating yourselves. You deserve better. You never deserve the nurses from day one. You deserve better. There is a lot of beautiful men out there. Very beautiful empaths. Very beautiful souls. They are willing to work with you. Build with you. They are willing to offer you unconditional love. There is people who are willing to date you without condition. They don't need anything. They don't need your car. They don't need whatever your body you have. They don't need any makeup. They don't need the cars you drive. They are going to date you unconditionally. They are out there. So many of them. But for you to reach that frequency, to meet that person who is on that vibration, you are going to heal. I do not care who you are. I don't care what you look like. Your ethnicity, where country you come from, what family you're from, it doesn't matter. You are going to heal. It is something you are going to do. One day you are going to realize that actually you are going to heal by force. Because for you to be able to meet a healthy individual, a person that has done some work on themselves, you are going to first of all do the work. And that's how you become a vibrational match to that person. And then, of course, the universe brings that person close to you. And when they come around, you, you will know, you will feel it in your soul, that these people have been brought in by the universe. Because they are aligning with your energy. But when you're still in that low frequency, you're crying, you know. You never healed. You're struggling and this and that. The same pattern is going to repeat. So there will be another person, but different body. You know? same it will be the same spirit but a different body so you're going to go back in the same cycle that you've been the person you left behind i will guarantee you this they are struggling they're going through it all the same drama They are even wishing because those people they are too broken to understand that they are leaving something very beautiful behind. They have already had the beautiful thing behind before. They were with you. They couldn't love you. They abused you. Tortured you. You know, locked you out of the house. 
did all these horrible things you can think about. And then they dumped you off to die. Now you went out there, you healed. You're becoming your greatest version. They are watching you and they are dripping. Their mouths are dripping. They are like, oh my God, look at this supply. I wish I could get back in their lives and enjoy that fuel. You know, because now they, are see, they can see you glow. But this time you are too glowed enough to carry, that, to, to carry the same garbage that you carried before. That garbage is gone, it's finished. Now you want something else. You want something new. You want something that you deserve. You want something beautiful. The garbage is gone, game over. Let the new supplies deal with that garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, God did you a favor. God woke you up. God has healed you. There is many of us who have even healed by, by ourselves. We, are, we haven't got help to heal. Apart from the advice here and there on uh, whatever online and this and that. You know? Because I understand sometimes the empaths, when they are leaving these relationships, some of them they are broke. All their finances are gone. They are struggling financially, whatever. So sometimes they don't have the finances to heal, uh, to, to get the, the proper coaches to help them. You know? Some of us have done the work. Me, myself, I can guarantee you I've healed myself. I left that individual without a penny. Me, I like saying things the way they are. You know, some people, some, some coaches will not come around and tell you the truth. I left the narcissist without a penny. I struggled in those early days. I put myself together and I found the ways to heal. And when you heal, you are going to see these vampires, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very funny, but you are going to see these vampires. They are coming out of the woodworks. Everybody wants uh, a piece of the cake, you know. Ah, oh, this person is glowing. What are they doing? How are they doing this? How? You know, they are going to start running around. They want to, everybody wants to date you when you have healed. When you have healed, let me, let me say something, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody wants to come around you. But this time you are too healed. To figure out who needs to come in and who needs to stay out you know you are no longer taking those kind of uh, you know bull crap and whatever you are not taking that kind of old energy they are going to come in these emotional vampires they need your energy they need your fuel you empaths you don't know something about yourself there is thing that you don't know about yourself you are shining brighter than so many people around you because you're on that love frequency. You love. You continue loving and love and love. That is something many people cannot do. That is a very high frequency. So everybody wants a, wants a piece of that energy. You know what I mean? So let it go. That's what I'm trying to say in this, uh, in this video. Let it go, empaths. Go out there, work on yourself. And become the greatest version of you. Let the nurses deal with the new supply. Let them do what they are doing. Don't spy on them. Don't go around and checking in their phones and whatever, social media, Facebook, whatever, Instagram. Don't check what they are doing. Anytime you check those kind of things, they are going to trigger you. And they are going to hinder your healing process. Let it go. And put a lot of focus on yourself. And you're going to get to exactly where you want to be. So let us know the video in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? You always know that I do love and appreciate your support. For those of you who would like to book a session, Feel free to send me an email for the most of you guys who want to support or donate to my channel the support is welcome you will also find the links in the section below and until then i'll catch you guys in my next one there's almost signing out much love and blessings peace